Hey everyone, welcome back to our Build and Deploy series. In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive into Apache Hop by building two essential pipelines and executing them in a workflow. We'll be cleaning and transforming a flight's dataset in Pipeline 1 and then aggregating the transformed data in Pipeline 2. Finally, we'll bring it all together in a workflow that executes these pipelines in sequence, so let's jump right in. First up, we have Pipeline 1, which we're calling Clean Transform. This pipeline will handle the data cleaning and transformation for our flight's dataset. Step 1. Start by creating a new pipeline in the Hop GUI and name it Clean Transform. Step 2. The first step in this pipeline is to read our raw flight's data. We'll do this using the text file input transform. In the text file input configuration, specify the path to your dataset and also make sure you get the fields correctly according to the dataset schema. Step 3. Next, we need to calculate the week of the year from the flight date. For this, we'll use the calculator transform. In the calculator transform, add a new calculation to derive the week of the year. Choose the flight date field as the input and select the calculation type. Save this result as flight year week. Step 4. Now let's add a JavaScript transform to create two new fields, onTimeDep and onTimeR. These fields will determine if a flight departed and arrived on time. In the JavaScript editor, write a simple script that checks the depth delay and R delay fields. If the values are greater than zero, set onTimeDep and onTimeR to no, otherwise set them to yes. Step 5. Finally, we need to save our transform data. Use the text file output transform to write the data to a new CSV file. Name this file something like transformed flights, specify the output path and the extension CSV. Make sure you get the fields correctly according to the dataset schema. And that's it for pipeline 1. Save your pipeline and let's move on to pipeline 2. The second pipeline, named aggregate, will read the transformed data, add a sequence ID, and then aggregate the data to generate insights. Step 1. Create a new pipeline using the new option in the hop GUI. Name this second pipeline aggregate. Step 2. Start by using the text file input transform to read the transformed flights.csv file that we created in pipeline 1. Step 3. Next, we need to add a unique identifier for each record. Use the add sequence transform to generate a sequence ID. This will help us uniquely identify each aggregated record. Specify the transform name and the name of the new field. The sequence starts at value 1 by default, and the increment is also 1 by default. Step 4. Now let's aggregate the data. Use the memory group by transform for this task. In the memory group by configuration, specify the fields you want to group by, such as operating airline, origin state name, and origin city name. Define the name of the aggregated field, the field used to aggregate, and the aggregation function, number of distinct values in this case. Step 5. Finally, output the aggregated results to a CSV file using the text file output transform. Name this file aggregatedflights.csv and specify the path. Save the pipeline and you're done with pipeline 2. Now that our pipelines are ready, let's create a workflow to execute them in sequence. Step 1. In the hop GUI, create a new workflow and name it something like flights processing. Step 2. Add two pipeline execution tasks to the workflow. For the first task, link it to Pipeline 1, then set up the second task to execute Pipeline 2. Step 3. Connect the actions. Make sure the hop type from Pipeline 1 and Pipeline 2 is conditional, ensuring that Pipeline 2 runs only after Pipeline 1 completes successfully. Once everything is configured, save and execute your workflow. And there you have it. We've successfully built and executed two pipelines within a workflow using Apache Hop. Some remarks before finishing. The dataset used in this tutorial is linked in the video description, so make sure to check it out if you want to follow along. Remember that the dataset is stored in the folder set as the input in the input environment variable. Ensure your environment is configured correctly to avoid issues. Each pipeline workflow must have a unique name in your project. This will prevent conflicts during execution. Consider adding logging and notifications to your pipeline's workflow to track the execution process and handle any errors. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. 
If you have any questions, drop a comment below and we'll be happy to help.